Hey, what is up guys, Luftinger here as always, and today with the heavy request from my viewers, we will be reviewing the new premium weapon on RC2, the Death Adder. I was planning to put this up a lot earlier, but my Google wallet was going crazy, we had a clan tournament going on and whatnot, so thank you for being patient and I apologize for the delay. Death Adder or the Steyr AUG is actually a pretty old assault rifle designed back in the 1970s as a replacement for FNV. The AG-3 is the modernized version of the original weapon and Rocketeer has done a decent work modeling it as usual. What caught my attention the most is the texturing of the weapon, it looks very detailed, realistic and it's certainly an upgrade compared with the other guns. If you look at the stats of the rifle, it's obvious that Death Adder focuses on mid to long range firefights, and in that case, its main competition is going to be the Grizzly. You will suffer from its slow reload, fire rate, and mobility, but what you get in return is so promising and unique. 448 damage gives you just enough power to take a fully armored player with only 2 shots, and 96% accuracy is also the highest of all the other assault class weapons. On top of that, 15% recoil. It feels like there is almost no recoil at all. This gives a huge advantage over other assault class weapons. Whether you are firing burst or full auto, you do not have to worry about adjusting your aim at all. Although the unusual recoil pattern similar to what you see in P90 is still present with this gun, and it will take a while getting used to it. Overall, I feel like Grizzly is for people who likes high fire rates, sort of spray and pray type of player, and Death Adder for those of you who has precise aim and patience to take time for each of your kills. Will the Death Adder be my number one pick of the assault rifle? Probably not since it isn't a silenced gun, but it sure is a great weapon to run around with once in a while. Now, if you are following the Player Lounge page and the Facebook, maybe you notice a couple people being very upset about RGS changing the stats back and forth. In my opinion, and this is just my opinion, maybe you have a different opinion, but my opinion, changing stats after the release is totally fine if it was meant to balance out the gameplay. But you guys said it was a bug or an issue with the server. I honestly don't know if that is true or an excuse to chill out the players. But at least be honest, be open and friendly to the people. We almost feel no love and I know it's a strange way of saying, but no love from the dev team. And us community is not dumb enough to keep supporting a company who doesn't care about the players. That's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Have a nice day and I'll see you guys in the next video.